In the past, the WTA has had several teen sensations dominate the court. Martina Hingis owns several youngest ever records. She was the youngest player to win a junior Grand Slam title at the French Open at the age of 12. After turning professional, she became the youngest slam champion and world number one. Well, to have this success at such a young age, I think I just grew into it very naturally because um, I always had the success uh, in junior tennis already at a very young age. I was 12 and 13 playing you know, Grand Slams at Roland Garros and Wimbledon and um, always felt like I was kind of in the footsteps of Jennifer Capriati who was four years older than me and um, trying to beat her record. <laughs> she held the world number one ranking for 209 weeks and set the bar high with five Grand Slam singles titles all before the age of 19. I think it can be difficult to have success at a young age but um, you know it's something that you just have to deal with. I think it depends from player to player if uh, you know how mentally ready they are and how physically ready they are to break through in a young age. I think the uh, age eligibility rule has definitely um, you know made the, the girls uh, peak a little later but as well it makes them stay on tour longer. Today we're seeing many players break through at a later stage and players competing in top form in their 30s. Today, WTA players have longer careers, allowing more time to develop their game and compete.